Hello, my name is Aaron Blast here with Rig and Roll. Um, this is a game. According to this, it's from 2010. I'm pretty sure that it actually came out 2014, though. Let me see. Hold on, I gotta look it up real quick. I don't remember. Rig and Roll. Uh, or no, it takes place in 2014. It was released in 2010. <laughs> yeah, so I remember I got this game back when it was pretty close to new. And it was probably one of the most realistic looking truck simulators out there. Um, however, gameplay wise, it's mostly a racing game. I'll be honest. And for a racing game, it doesn't make a very good one. <laughs> but anyway, I've always enjoyed it, and at this point, it's sort of uh, nostalgia playing this game. And this is the first time I've ever had it on my computer that actually meets the system requirements. So, I haven't decided yet if I'm actually going to go through the story on this channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a single mission. Uh, let's see, I always start at the south. I'm going to start up north this time. Or actually, uh, do I want to do that? Nah, I'll just start up in Eureka and see where we get from there. Eureka's a pretty town. These are the trucks. Um, oh, you may have noticed back there. I have a mod installed that messes with some of the stuff. So these trucks originally are under different names. So if the logos look a little funky, it's because I used a mod to get them back to normal. Alright, so I'm going to be driving the 379, because, I mean, that's just what I drive. And, let's see, can I get a... I don't think I'm going to be able to get a purple. Oh, there's a swift paint job. I kind of got to use that, don't I? <laughs> You can change the color of the window tint. I'll change that to purple. There's not a purple for that either. Uh, that's pink. Let's see here. Uh, that's sort of purple. Uh, it's more wine red. You know, I like that. That's sort of bluish. It's not purple, but there, there really isn't a purple. Just keep going and see it. Ooh, the red matches the paint up. I might go with red. Yeah, there's really not a purple. I'll go with red. That goes really good with the paint job. As for the interior, uh, I quite like how this one looks. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that goes. Sure. And that, meh, 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 meh. I'll just keep the cloth the way it is. It kind of matches. Or maybe you make it black. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with the original ones. If if part of this video ends up being uh, quieted, then I'm going to apologize right now. I did a test, and none of the songs that came on in the test that I did brought up a copyright notice. So we'll see what happens. And we'll turn main team time of day off. Have weather changes be moderate, so it's sort of real life this, I guess. And let's start in the morning. Start.
Now, on previous computers, the game was already sort of unstable, and then once I installed this mod, it had a tendency to crash. So, we'll see what happens there. Alright, let's see. There is competition there. There is also competition. Okay. The ones with competition are more fun. It's not a very long trip. What's the one to Ukiah? What, what, what's the one to Ukiah? Thank you. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm doing. White and red trailer to match my white and red truck. Look at that. And yes, the mod I have gives the trailer skins, and then the thing for what load is in them overlaps with the skins. So apparently we're, we're pulling skateboards in a vodka trailer, apparently. That's always fun. Uh, first person, and zoom out. Zoom out. There we go. Oops. I don't remember my way around Eureka. The clutch is sort of weird in this game. I really don't remember my way around Eureka. I think I want to go this way. Okay, then this way. What's the button for the map? That's the button for the map. I love the music in this game. I'm gonna be turning at some point. Uh, I think it's control to... Yeah, there it is. Wait, was I in fifth gear? These trucks have five speeds, and going into fifth gear is almost always a bad idea unless you're in a kind of So oh, this truck might be able to swing it. I didn't look at how much horsepower this one has. Let's see. And... Ah, it's accelerating. I will also say it is very rare to start. Oh my goodness. I don't know if anyone was watching the map there, but that one truck that just came out of the warehouse just took off past everybody else. Also, it appears that traffic might be turned off. Let me check that real quick. Uh, settings, game options. Oh, yeah, traffic is way down. Let's get some more traffic in here. It's more fun like that. There it is. Now, you do not get in trouble for speeding in this game, but you get in trouble for just about everything else you could possibly do. Including, if I were to change lanes and I cut someone off, I would get a ticket for it. The cops are really good in this game. 
Though that does mean there's the opportunity to have some pretty decent police chases. And most truck simulators don't allow for stuff like that. One, two, three, four. Turn it up loud so the whole world knows that wherever we stand, to wherever we go, it's American rock and roll. You're probably going to have quite a bit of uh, singing so on, because I really like some of the songs in this game. Oh yeah, this truck can rock some fifth gear. This one might have a six speed. Standard for a racing game, there are up to six gear positions. Um, I only have five of them mapped, because most of the trucks only have five speeds. But I think this one might have a six speed. Everybody on the count of three! One, two, three, go! Up the video! Turn it up loud so the whole world knows what together we stay and wherever we go, it's American rock and roll! Turn it up loud so the whole world knows that wherever we stay and wherever we go, it's American rock and roll! Alright, I don't think I need the map anymore. Come on, Peterbilt, let's go! Pass the Freightliner! Yes! Ah, trailer's probably drifting at this point. I've had that happen before. I looked at my mirror once and the trailer was literally at a 90 degree angle with the truck. Now I can just feel free to back off a little bit because we're on a two-lane road. They can't get past me. One of the things I do really like about this game that uh, SCS games could learn a thing or two from is the vehicles actually have proper crash damage. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I'd like my truck to keep working. And if you run it long enough without repairing it, your brakes will go out. Um, if you run it long enough without changing the tires, the tires will start to get old and you won't have any more grip. I turned that. I found out that. I dead to that. I found that out the hard way. Um, and if you beat it up enough, you'll actually damage the steering. And you can. I've damaged the transmission before. I couldn't get it into gear. Like, it was stuck in the gear it was in. I couldn't change it. Um, what else have I damaged? If you damage it enough, you'll notice at the very top right of the UI display. Or, it, they're all at the top. At the very right of the UI display, there's a little symbol with a truck and then a bar next to it. That bar is your truck's health. If that hits zero, your truck explodes. It's very loud. Maybe if this doesn't take too long, I'll take a second job after this and just beat up my truck for you guys. That sounds fun. One thing that this game does do very well with it is it has a lot of options for gameplay and the graphic settings. There are a lot of graphic settings. The control options are decent. It, it's a, you know, everything was done right except for the actual gameplay. That's a bit lacking. It even has a story, which most truck simulators don't. But this game does have a proper story that I may or may not play through. Also, I'm supposed to be in that lane over there. I hate that intersection.
You know, I think I am going to play through the story in this game. Because it's pretty good. I mean, well, for the game, for the sort of game that this game is, it's pretty good. truck starting to slide. The physics are a bit funky. I will say that. Though, the Steam version isn't as bad as the disc version, I'm noticing. This is the first time I've ever played the Steam version of the game, and the physics are a lot better in this version. It must have an extra update that I don't have or something. Take my hand, let's run away, and if you're scared of the there, don't need to discuss it. Agree to bust it up. Believe me, it feels good to smash it, bust it up. And it feels just like an itch. Pick up your clothes, and if you're scared, for you to need to discuss it. Agree to bust it up. Believe me, it feels good to smash it, bust it up. No army can stop me, even if I'm locked up with suicide freaks. I'm gonna bust it up. I'm gonna bust out and they catch me. No need to discuss it. Agree to bust it up. Believe me, it feels good to smash it. Bust it up. Na 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 See if I can get anyone to get out of the way. Uh, apparently not. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I forgot to set a button to set it on my camera. There we go. Past all the minivans. And I believe this is the Ukiah exit. I don't have a jake break. By the way, these trucks come when you first start the game with nothing on them. I don't have a jake break. I don't have a cruise control. Um, I don't even have a hood ornament in the Peterbilt. Wow, that is a very blue trailer being pulled by a green truck. Interesting choice. Wow, I slowed down way too much there. Then I swung way too wide there. That was just all around embarrassing. You can tell I used to do this run a lot by the fact that I still remember it. I haven't seriously played this game in probably seven years. Maybe not quite that long. It's been a while though. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, the AI aren't always the most challenging in the world. They're probably behind me somewhere. I swear that the blinkers in this game had auto shut off. They used to drive me crazy.
And that's not done. Yay! So yeah, that was some rig and roll. Uh, my average speed was 54 miles an hour. It's kind of embarrassing for a good foot. Anyway, um, yeah, this game is a lot more fun than I remember it being. So I am probably going to go through the story. In fact, tomorrow's video might be me starting the story. It probably is going to be because I think we're going to go record that literally right now. So... Hey, I totally forgot I said I was going to wreck up the train. The truck. For you guys. Train? Wreck up the truck for you guys. Um, I'm going to go for up to LA for this. And get a truck that I hate. Which would be the Freightliner Argozy. I hate that truck. However, most people hate this truck. So let's use this instead. And we'll get in yellow. Not... Green, yellow. What's the aerography have for me? Uh, yeah, I'm actually that's a really ugly color. Yes, I am going with that. Though it has an Indian on it that feels racist. Straight yellow. Just have a picture of a crudely drawn dump truck on the side of it. And yes, hot pink windows. That is a thing that's happening. <laughs> that truck is hideous. I actually like Sterling's sort of. I mean, they're kind of meh. Let's go with that. Sure. And the dash can be this. Let's see. No. No. Uh, I'm rethinking my interior design. I need really. Okay, that would go good with that. And then that. Oh, see, but now the interior looks nice. I don't want the interior to look nice. Oh, right, there you go. There's some hideosity. Yep, yep. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, my goodness. And there. Yes. That is absolutely awful. And then let's have some zebra. Um, yeah, zebra print. Actually, let's see. Giraffe print. Perfect. They're pink. I remember they're being pink. Yellow. Wow, that is awful. Yep, and look at it from here. Seeing the yellow through the pink. Oh, that is amazing. I'm doing that. Okay, and I have it on Los Angeles. Yep, let's go wreck up a truck. The thing is, I like the way Sterling look. If it had a more powerful engine, I would love this truck. But I think the most you can get in it is like 415 horsepower. Maybe 435. Wow, that is... Oh, my goodness. Not that pink's a bad color, but when you combine it with yellow and put it on windows. Oh, my goodness. Also, I can't skip this, otherwise I would. But yeah, purely based on looks. I love the way this truck looks. I don't know why. I just do. Now, the reason I came to LA is for this trip. You can do straight up races in this game. And the reason I'm doing a straight up race is because if I run into stuff, my trailer is bound to disconnect. And if I go too far away from my trailer, I fail the mission for abandoning the trail. So if I do a race, I don't have to worry about it. Come on, get the truck in gear and step on the gas, please. I'd like to go crash the thing. Sound oscillating weird for you guys, or is just my headphones? Oh, that's weird. I don't know if that was the game or my headphones, but I really hope it was the game. I'm in third gear. And now I'm in second gear. The gearing in this game is terrible. So, yeah, comment down below. Anyone else who likes throwings? I'm actually very curious to know. Do I not have my headlights set? Apparently I don't have my headlights up. Okay, not making that corner. I want to run into cars, not walls. Hmm. 
love with a different girl in another day in another world. And... I remember back when I was playing this game, running it on keyboard. I would always be driving the Western Star when I did Quick Job because the mirrors don't fall off of that truck. So I'm pretty sure it's the only truck in the game that the mirrors do not fall off of. Or somehow get broken on. Alright, let's see. Oh, you can't really see that much damage, can you? There you are. There's some on the door. Let's see if I can get some more. And being Bobtail, I should be able to jam it into fifth. Alright, come on. I need a car near me so that I can get the cops. I should have gone the wrong way. So used to being able to stick my head out of the window. Um, I should be able to change... There you go. You can move all around in the truck. I am curious as to where the gear shift would go if I put it in sixth gear. That's what I'm pretty sure that most trucks in this game don't have six gears. There is literally no traffic on this side of the road. Oh, there's a truck. That's probably someone I'm against, actually. I don't know, what did that say over there in the passenger seat? Sterling, concrete, and masonry wheelbarrows. Was Sterling originally a wheelbarrow company? Or is that just a different Sterling? I'm curious now. Anyone know? Whoops. Yeah, like I said, this is one of the slower trucks in the game. It's also, I'm pretty sure this is the only truck in the game that you can't put a 600 horsepower engine in. Attack the car! Oh, wow, that almost backfired badly. Oh, see in the mirror there? The air thing on the back, I forget what it's called, is hanging off the side, and obviously the windshield's messed up. I'm trying to get the hood to open. It'll actually do that on some trucks. <laughs> there you go, I messed up the mirror. I messed up both the mirrors. See, that's what I'm talking about. And I hear cops! Oh, managed to avoid that. Policeman officer, where are you? Wow, the game is running horribly all of a sudden. What happens when my rain supremes? Ah, attack the infrared. <laughs> So this is the alternate way to play this game. Also very fun. It's better when the game's running a little better, but... Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, I just shorted my fuel tank. Okay, so this is my steering wheel straight. The steering is messed up. I have ruptured my fuel tank. Um, get out of that. If you look up top right, you can see I don't have any fuel. Yeah, so this is steering straight. This is having the truck steering straight, and I'm almost at the edge of my wheel steering. Um, so yeah, no brakes. I'm pumping the brake pedal right now. It's not doing anything. Um, oh, there we go. The parking brake works. <laughs> you can see the truck. Oh, man, I wanted to blow up the truck. And I could have sworn that the wind, that the hood opened on this truck. But yeah, so you can see it gets properly damaged. I mean, look, the the side of the cab is so beat up that the actual decal is stretched out. Oh my! Yeah, that's bad. Oh, look at the tail lights. Do those? I, I don't think those still work. Well, the truck's not running, so. Yeah, and you can mess up the headlights on some, like, on the Peterbilt, you can actually knock the headlights off. 
So yeah, I, I would love to get off of this wall so I could show it to you better, but I literally can't. The truck will not stay running. Oh, for a second I thought that exhaust was coming from the school bus. <laughs> I feel like the doors aren't supposed to open that far. There we go, now you can see this side of the truck. Yeah, so even the fuel, you can see why I don't have any more fuel. The fuel tank under there is just completely it's almost completely disconnected from the truck. Yeah, not happy here. Very bad things have happened to this truck. Alright, and now I've gotten pulled over by the police twice. So I just wanted to come back and show you guys that. I hope someone out there ends up enjoying this. Uh, catch you on the next one.